Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. What you want to see? Wait a minute. Uh, I fuck up, okay? All right, so I fuck up. Big deal. Big, big, big deal. I'm sorry. I, I screwed up, and uh, uh, I do occasionally. And we will be here screwing up till uh, ten, uh, midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. I almost said ten o'clock Eastern. I see. I'm screwing up like crazy. Should I start the whole show over again? No, I, I don't think so. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting over there acting like she doesn't want to be here, so maybe I should just let her go. Okay. Huh? No. What? I'm here for the long haul. You're here for the long haul? I wonder why my microphone sounds so bass and yours doesn't. I'll, I'll turn up the bass on yours. Or maybe I'll turn the bass down on mine and the bass down on yours. I don't know. Now, I never can figure out the certain things. There we go. Now my sound is right. Okay. All right. So how are you doing? Good. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's, it's Friday. Friday. Yeah, I should have adjusted that. I camera. celebrated Friday today. You celebrated Friday today? Yeah. How did you celebrate Friday home. today? I stayed home. You stayed home. It was your. You take a day off every now and then, right? Yes, I'm using up my my days. You t your days? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Let me see here. I want to tilt you. Uh, I want to change your tilt here. Wait a minute. That's not uh, doing it. Uh, it's not. Huh. It's uh, cancel. Cancel. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Am I getting your thing? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, 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 pan up a little bit here, so that it pan, uh, pan. Oh, oh it, it doesn't seem to move. It doesn't seem to go at all. The, oh, I see why, because the zoom. I'll zoom in a little. No, I can't do that. Well, Stop it. I'm trying to get it so you're you're not as... Uh, it's fine. Uh, you're you're kind of low on the screen, okay? It's fine. All right, it's fine. We'll say it's fine. It's not fine, but you'll say it's fine, okay? All right? <laughs> Uh, I'm sniffling. I got a sniffle. I got, I, Here we I, go. No, it, I've got Here some, we go. This is some kind of, look. I'm not complaining about my health. Have I been complaining about my health lately? Duh. No, just now I sniffled and I said I've got something. Maybe a little I can't sniffle. take it anymore. I'm going to go to bed. Wait, wait a minute. I'm not, <laughs> I, I haven't been complaining about my health at all. Have I? <laughs> Listen Have I, to this. Like my feet are a, a marginally better. Listen to this. Life is good. Uh, I was discussing with uh, Shecky today that I think it's time for me to take you on a vacation. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> you, you know. Like and, nine years. And I said, well, you know, I don't do it because this goddamn gabinet holds me here. And he says, that's keeping you from going anywhere. That's true. Your priorities aren't right. Well, thank you. He said, thank you, Shecky. What, you're not going to take a vacation for the 50 people that listen to this show that's every right. night? That's right. And by the way, uh, th th he's right. He's absolutely right. He's right because uh, really yesterday was one of the worst days for people listening to this program or watching it on Facebook or watching it on any of the various things that we have. So uh, there are certain things I'm thinking of doing, like stopping doing the show. I mean, I'll let the other guys do their yeah. show. I just may stop doing mine. Just come in here now and then and do your I'll thing. I'll do other little projects. Mm -hmm. Maybe start up an Alex Bennett channel. Okay. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, put that out 24-7 where I'm playing really old programs of mine. Just nothing but 24-7 a day. That, 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 that'd go good, wouldn't it? Mm. I don't know. I just, uh, you know, I, so, and, and like last weekend, we had a huge amount of people listening to all our various things. So I, I don't understand it. I, it it's makes the weather, sense it's the season. Oh, by the way, we have to put the clocks back tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And we have to do one Fall other thing. Fall back. We have to do one other thing tomorrow. What? 
What What do you think? I have no. What idea. do you think we have to do tomorrow? I have no idea. What do you think? Is it on my calendar? <laughs> I don't think it's on my calendar. I think you didn't put it on my calendar. It's on there. So if it's not on my calendar, no, it's not there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, excuse me. No, it's not there. I put it in for yearly. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. It isn't in my calendar. Well, then you just have to know it. Oh, you mean? Oh, well, what? Really? Uh, what we're talking about is that you're. Uh, it's your birthday. Huh? Mm -hmm. How old are you going to be? Let's not go in there. How old are you going to be? Alex, stop it. How old are you going to be? Stop it. How old are you going to be? Stop it. Are you going to be 80? Stop it, 80 Alex. 80 years old. She's going to be 80 years old. Good night, everyone. No, no, no. Where are you going? She said, just sit there. Well, let's not talk about it. She's going to be 80 years old. So what? Wait, 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 uh, no, actually, she's younger than stop, I am. Just stop it. Just stop she, it. She's younger than I am. What do you mean? What? Good. Wait, wait, can I ask you a question? Come on, just <laughs> guy to a woman. I okay? can't take this anymore. Wait a minute. Are there you, any nice single guys out there? You can't. <laughs> really? You the can't, few that are listening you, you to the Alex Bennett you, show. Do you want to call me you up? Can, you I'm can't, ready. You can't. Do I'm what? available you, and I'm here. You can't do what? Huh? You can't take what? I'm. I'm. You know. I don't know what it is about women. That you don't want to tell us your age. Why age is such a horrible thing with you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, whatever. You don't look your age because you color your hair. So what? <laughs> well, this is, I got to tell you what she told me that her hairdresser said to her. And if I had a hairdresser say this to me, I would tell them to go fuck themselves and never go back again. What did he tell you? He told you that if you didn't color your hair, you'd look 10 years older. You do. <laughs> And I thought about it for a second, and I said, you know, maybe she should keep coloring her hair because I don't want to wake up in the morning and say, I'm living with an old lady. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, you know, you always used to put me down for coloring my hair. Well, because it was orange. Well, yours is kind of orange. It is not. It's kind of a lavender orange. It is not. Well, you don't see it like other people do. Go fuck yourself. But anyway, so, and every day, you know, she's home late. And I, I'm thinking maybe she's out cheating on me, you know, that, that that would be almost an acceptable answer. But every day it's, I had my nails done today. I had my hair done today. You know, I had a facial today. You know, it's the upkeep it's on the you. It's the maintenance. You, what is the maintenance costing you? A lot. Year? More than normal. More than 20 years ago. I mean, you're the one who, only one who really works in this family, so I'm not going to, you know, make a big deal out of it. And I have to get dressed and I have to put clothes on and I have to look proper yeah so yeah yeah and uh, and then the gym she pays two thousand dollars a year to her gym how much I pay to mine doesn't matter I pay about two hundred dollars a year to mine less than that actually and your uh, point is a hundred and eighty dollars a year your point is as opposed to your two thousand what are you getting for two thousand is, is there a cabana boy that eats you out or something uh, you're rude. <laughs> well, I want to know what makes it worth two thousand. They got ten the, fourteen. They got this. They got the same machines. I do at mine. It's not just machines. There's classes there. Well, there are two things that we have to show tonight. Steam baths. We have two things to show them tonight during our segment. What? Uh, first of all, uh, we went to Costco the other day. Now you know we had this video we ran of a, a weekly thing, or she does whenever she goes to Costco with me, in which she goes to where the Depends are and yells at the top of her lungs, "Alex, they've got your Depends in stock." Yeah, yeah. You do that all the time, and so we did a montage of about five of these that she did. But we were in Costco last week, and there was a little difference. And the way they were handling the situation. Let me play it right here. I don't here. think I saw hey, go, this. Go, go, come see it right here. She's going to try to do her thing. Right? She's going to try and do it, but she's not going to be able to watch. Huh? 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 You're going to make your joke? You're going to make your joke? Alex, they have the adult super... No, size. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Yeah, they're not there anymore. Where are the they? The depends for you, Alex. Where are they? Your depends are ready. I'm <laughs> picking them up. You're picking them up where? Extra where? large. Are you finding them? I found them. No, you didn't find them. <laughs> but I found them. <laughs> they seem to only have the women, sir. 
men's are down there. No, the men's aren't down there. I think they're over more. No. But they moved them, and and uh, that was not fun for her. So now she just has to see. Things change. Now we know. Yeah. Pellegrino. <laughs> <laughs> you, Pellegrino, you said. <laughs> yeah. So that was uh, that was one of the things that we wanted to show. Now, last week, see, I don't mind being made fun of. It's been my career. There's also been every reason to make fun of me, but it's been my career. So uh, where are you going with this? Where am I going with this? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to see the other film. There, I don't have any other. You film. said there were two no, things. I, you no, want I to said show. two things I want to show. Well, last let's see week, number two. Last week you challenged me to show something. Do you remember? See, she's an old lady. And she doesn't remember. I don't stuff. remember. What did I challenge you on? There's so uh, many things. On a photograph of me. Oh, the before picture, yeah. Yeah, the before oh, picture. Wait a minute, wait a minute, oh, wait a minute. God. We 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 gotta we gotta we gotta see it. Here we go. You ready, yeah. everybody? Make it, it, it large. This is me. Well, this is me now. Okay. Does that look okay? You stand up straight, maybe. Yeah. Does it look okay? I don't okay? know why you have the need to put your t-shirt in. What? What? Why you put your T-shirt inside? Because that way it'll show that I have a waist here. That I well, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't it, go that far. Look, but, what do well, you, you, you wouldn't? It's straight. What it's do I get for losing all that weight? Well, show them this. Okay. Well, anyway, this was. Uh, I don't know. When did picture. you take this picture? Definitely before your diet. <laughs> <laughs> It well no it but when Did was it? Did you see it? what I wrote on here? What does it say? Got milk. Why does it say got milk? Because I, I put it on. Why does it say got milk? You're talking you, to the mic. Your boobs look so big. Oh, oh really? Oh my boobs look. <laughs> that, that, I don't look anything like that now, do I? I would hope not. Huh? I'm I'm different now. Yeah, you're still slumped over, but you're you're thinner. I'm still slumped over. But you're thinner. Yeah, yeah. So that and was. Get this. Yeah. He gets into the bed, he flops. He flops around. You know, don't you have any... Look, by the way, this is me now. Just so you can see the difference, okay? Is that a difference, this side and this side? Stand up straight. I'm standing there up you straight. Go. Does it look... I look better, right? Well, you look better than that photo. Yeah, yeah. The got milk photo. Yeah. But it, 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 do I look like I've lost weight? Well, compared to that, yes. Oh, but I don't look... I still look fat. No, I didn't say you still look fat, but you're not tight. Well, neither are you. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what that what that just meant. You're not tight. Ten eighteen. I work out. But no, not yet. Don't just sit over there, okay? Let's let's not even do that bit yet. It's not even time to do it yet. It's and 10 19. So, do I, I, I don't look like I have gained Alex, weight. Alex, have stop I gained it. weight? Do stop I look it. like I have gained I'm weight? I'm not going to feed into your insecurity. Do I look like I have gained I weight? I am not going to feed into that. Anyway, so I showed that picture, see? Yes, you did. You see? So now you can tell us how old you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I embarrassed myself. Well, now you can embarrass yourself. No. Come on. If I wanted to, I would. You would. Okay. So, there. Well, yeah. All I know is I'm a year older than last year. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but and, and so, anyways, so uh, Shecky said that, that we should go on a vacation. I think that's a great idea. Now I have to go out to California. I'm going with you. Well, to help it, you do that. No, to yeah. do help me do what? The show. No, we're not doing the show. You that's should. Not, that's not why I'm going to California. I'm going to Oregon, actually. Oh. To see Ronnie. Mm -hmm. You know, but I thought you maybe would meet me in San Francisco. That sounds good. You know, because yeah. I know you probably don't want to go up to. Well, I haven't been invited. Well. Uh, I, I don't know, you know, you didn't get along with her, did you? Well, I, I was only with her one time and she didn't say a word to me, so what can I say? Well, it's <laughs> a good reason. That's a good indication. There's a good reason. <laughs> you're an ex, you're, you're a, a current wife. Were you a wife at the time? No. No, you weren't. You were just a girlfriend. I was just a girlfriend. Well, I, you know, she probably has that attitude. I've seen them come and I've seen them go. And she just wanted to make sure that you were, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so anyway, so... Uh, uh, I have to go out there because, uh, you know, she's she's dying. And uh, uh, I would like to see her before she uh, 
she goes. Mm -hmm. uh, so I figured I would go to Portland, or I could go to Portland afterwards. No, go first. Well, no, I'm, I'm thinking that We'll go home together. No, but it's easier to go to... We'll go home together. Well, oh, okay. Well, uh, what I might do is go to San Francisco and then drive to Portland. No, we'll be together. No, I mean, you're not doing that trip with me to Portland. And then you would join me a few days later in San Francisco. Yeah. But that's, that's hardly a vacation, as I see it. It's not a vacation. That's just uh, a long weekend. Yeah. Uh, Shecky was talking about where he wants to go. There is a $4,000 trip to Egypt to go see a lot of uh, places that they know. They don't let Jews in there. They let Jews they in there. They let Jews now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, they, uh, there's like a tour of pyramids in which they let you go places that the public is not normally allowed to go. And so he wants to do that trip, and that sounds that sounds great. It sounds nice. It I, sounds I mean, it's great. not on my top ten list. It's like a four thousand dollar trip, but it's well, you, you know, know something. But by the time I all said and done, that's what it's going to cost you anyway. It, well, not necessarily. Yeah, really, think yeah. about it. Well, a piece. I don't know. It's been so long. What do you mean it's been so long? Well, we could when you go to Hong Kong, we could do. That something doesn't off count. Of that. Well, no, we could then go somewhere after that. I've asked you every year for the last. Well, nine the trouble years. is to go to Hong Kong. Here's the problem. I've told you this before. I have uh, miles. But so I, you go. I have on, miles on United. So go on United. So, no, they don't have a United flight to Hong Kong. They have it to San Francisco and then to Hong Kong, or they have it to Beijing and then to Hong Kong. No, they, but what I looked at was I had to take China Air. China Air is not bad. And China, yeah, but China Air. You have to go to Beijing first and then down to Hong Kong. So it's a longer trip than something that would go directly to Hong Kong. It's not Kong. that much longer. So I'll meet you in Vietnam. How's that? Vietnam, I would like but, to visit. You know, yeah. or Hanoi. That would be nice. Uh, or I could meet you. Thailand uh, also is supposed to be nice. I would, I would like to do Joanna Lumley. Those documentaries she did on d traveling the Silk Road. Some of those cities were unbelievable, yeah, and they yeah. were places you never heard of in your yeah, life. Yeah, you know, you would think that uh, in in uh, I think it was where was she Kazakhstan, that that you know these cities would be old, old uh, Stone Age. They're modern, fucking. They look more better than New York City for Christ's sake. That would be fun to plot it out to like a, a little bit, and then a year later maybe do some more. You know what I mean? There's only so many. The Silk Road is just a, it's an amazing, fascinating history. Uh, it, it, besides the silk, which would come from China, using well, the, the spices, Silk Road, that's how all the, the spices. spices and all that. And you know what else? Did you remember the documentary? Tell me. The bubonic plague, <laughs> because it had it. They, they traveled from Asia and it, it went to Europe via the Silk Road. Uh huh. Yeah. You know, it's ten twenty four. By the last night, I had a pissing match with uh, with uh, Brian because he said that the in American Indians gave the whites syphilis, and I seem to remember syphilis. Probably the reverse. No, I I, I probably well no, I seem to remember syphilis starting in Europe, and I looked it up last night, and sure enough, it did. The French brought it from somewhere into Europe, syphilis. And, th and this was about 1490. Now, it wasn't until 1492 that Columbus sailed the ocean blue. But he so, didn't end up in the United States. So No, so, but there was, what I'm saying is there was syphilis in Europe before there ever was syphilis here. Well, you'll tell well, Brian, well, Brian th call then, in then Brian, then Brian looked up something and it said that the American Indians had syphilis. No. Okay, no, that they actually had syphilis here. Uh, mm form of syphilis and trying to prove his point and I said but that wasn't your point your point was is that the white man came here and the Indians gave them syphilis they had never had syphilis before that I said no they had syphilis in in Europe before uh, that ever happened so and okay. and so then he started sending me messages like Brian? crazy and I'm lying in bed with my watch because they keep the watch on so I can tell how much I slept and it keeps going off on another message from Brian. Brian, not after one in the morning. Uh, yeah, not after uh, one in the morning. I turn my sound off on my on my uh, phone from nine to twelve. 
Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's it, totally good. Anybody that calls goes yeah. right to voicemail. I don't hear it. But if you turn off the watch, okay, it, you, it, then it, it doesn't measure. Well, the sleep. I can turn off the ring on the watch. I'll still get the vibration. Yeah. So you know, that's uh, you know. Okay. No, no, it's, not yet. It's ten twenty-five. No, not yet. What are you doing? You're, sni- you're, you, you're impinging upon my, my square. Come on. Uh, uh, but, uh, so anyway, that was my little pissing match last night with Brian. Uh, but uh, he was, he's stubborn. He's just really stubborn. Oh, and you're not. No, I'm a delight. In fact, I'm a delight to be with lately, don't you think? Yes, you're coming out of your miserable son of a bitch piece of shit mood. Well, because I, I this medicine I'm taking to take care of the I'm delighted. Machine, That's all I have to it say. It makes me drowsy all the time, <laughs> but it makes me a- absolutely... Um, I'm uh, delighted. ...acceptable. I'm delighted. I mean, we had a little argument today. We won't go into what. <laughs> That's not good. But it wasn't... Please, my, it, everything that ended well. It wasn't my fault. No, it wasn't, but... It was but, something but, you did. Yeah, but you haven't let me hear the end of it. You keep bringing it up. Well, because I want to make sure you've learned your lesson. I have, and now enough. Yeah, sure you have. <laughs> mm. It's ten twenty-seven. That's mm. that's enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not yet. I'm not going to. I'm not going to the phones yet. Well, I'm not uh, I'm phones. I'm not going to the Skype yet. What? Right. Do you see that empty square over there? You see that empty square? Oh, there. That yeah, over, over, I'm, over, I'm over here. here. I'm over, over here. Over here. Where? Where? I'm there. Over here. There. Over here. It's me. Okay, no, this square over here. That's see me. this square? I'll put my hand over in it. See? I see that square over there? That's where you're supposed to be. Well. Huh? Well. Bring me over. No, no what do you mean bring you over? What do I want to bring you the, over for? Let's share this. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see here. Is uh, it a fill free night? Huh? No, it's, no, last night was a fill free night. Um, so, anyway. Uh, last night, the uh, the uh, let me introduce. I had something very interesting mm-hmm. happen to me today. What's that? I posted something on Facebook that I got that somebody else had posted that I shared it because I mm-hmm. thought it was important. It was about a synagogue in Oakland, California, that they had sprayed "fuck Jews, fuck Jews," and I put it on, and a lot of people were responding to it, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden it was gone. Really? Yeah. I didn't and, take it off. And then Facebook sent you a note. They sent me a note, and I tried to respond to them, but their thing was down. They said, try back. But they didn't say they didn't say you did anything wrong. No, right? I haven't gotten into Facebook. Because but they said something the to the effect of that you were hacked or something? They didn't or? say hacked. Well, Somebody got into your account or something like that. Really? Anyway, it was removed. They probably thought it was somebody else putting that on your on your page. I don't know. It was just terrible. You know, the fact is that Facebook is are becoming Nazis. They're making I decisions. I may take a, a, a long vacation from Facebook. I'm thinking about that yeah. too. I'm I just shut that. it down. Doesn't for do a while. me any good anyway to be on Facebook. Well, it gets me too riled up politically. I mean, I'm constantly putting stuff up. Uh, well, anytime I put anything up, uh, I get a lot of people trolling. You know, and uh, and then all of a sudden, like there'll be these. Uh, I don't mind if a discussion group starts off of something I write, but when it becomes an argument between two people and they just keep arguing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and monopolize the thread, that I I just hate that. I wish you could control that, but unfortunately you can't. Oh, Speech's Courage said, Alex, you look Spanish. My mom is dark-ish, and her ancestors are from there. Your wife looks so good for someone wearing no makeup. You guys don't look your age, you know that? Thank you so much, well, Peaches. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I, I look younger than she does, but well. that's... <laughs> it's her birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday tomorrow. That means I buy dinner. Yeah. At a very expensive restaurant. It's not very expensive. It's it's moderate. It's pricey. It's not pricey. It's pricey. It comes to at least, I don't know, $36. That's more than McDonald's. I mean, why can't you be happy with a happy meal? So there... Huh? So there. She can't be happy with just any restaurant. Well, you know. It's ten thirty. What? No one's calling. I know. I got the lines open and everything. Last night we had trouble with our Skype, and I thought it might be Skype trying to fuck me over because I won't use their new system. 
but I turned off Skype and then turned it back on and it corrected the problem. So let's see if everything's working fine tonight. So I'm wearing my We Are Penn State shirt. But nobody's choosing to call. And if they don't call within five minutes, um, you turn off. I'll and turn off everything, and we'll go. We, we'll go to sleep early tonight together. <laughs> yeah, we watched the Orson Welles film today. He finished Orson Welles film, the last film he ever made that has been held up for years. You know why? It was in Iran, yeah, and because we were at war with Iran, we couldn't get the film out. So thank you, President Obama. Uh, because we got health care and Orson Welles' final film. Now, you didn't like it, and I liked it better than you did. Well, so. that's why they have it's not his greatest work, but it's, it's certainly interesting, you know. Well, nobody's calling. Okay, why don't we say a 25 of? Yeah, I'll just turn the whole thing off. Yeah, and we'll say goodnight, everyone. I'm going to say it now. Really? <laughs> Why are you going to say it now, honey? Because I'm tired and I have to get up oh, early. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that disgusting? Two old people kissing. It is. I saw a couple one time. Should were, we tongue they, kiss? No. They they were, come on, let's tongue stop kiss. It. Come on, let's show them. They were them. older than us and they were, you know, really old. Talk and to they the were, microphone. They were, well, you keep making no, it good. No, I'm not. No, and I'm they not. were passionately <laughs> kissing each other on the subway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looked like. I don't want to take my head away. I want to watch this. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. The Skype line is open, but nobody's calling. Okay, so. why don't we wrap up for the night? They certainly can call me. Right? Yeah, but they're not. So why don't you just take an early night? I'm hmm? going to take an early night. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. well, goodbye. Bye, everyone. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> well, we can always count on Phil. can always count on Phil. Yeah. Hi, Phil. Hi, how you doing this evening? Fine, uh, we're, we're doing okay. I, uh, yeah, I, I think that um, you should be congratulating yourself. I noticed uh, last night your uh, YouTube subscribers reached 700. Oh, did they? Uh, oh, you mean the subscribers? You're right. Well, uh, that's uh, you've uh, uh, accumulated almost 50 subscribers in the last month, month and a half uh, or so. Good. Well, I should yeah. have like 2,000. Okay. Hey, I mean, this is not radio. Believe me, it's not my career. <laughs> it is your career. Well, uh, it's what's you, left you were, of your career. Hmm? You were you were uh, hoping to get seven hundred, and I don't know if you saw that milestone yeah. had uh, I had reached it. I had seen that I'd reached six ninety nine. Right. And I didn't know that we'd hit that that milestone. Yeah. You have the magic seven zero zero. Which Great. gets me absolutely nothing from YouTube. Congratulations. No, thank you. Good night, Phil. Hey, good night. Take care. Nice to see you. Nice to see yeah. you. Good night, good night, good night, good night, night good night. night. Yeah. Uh, well, while, while you were, uh, you know, doing GabNet last night, mm -hmm. I actually uh, uh, hung out with one of your listeners. Uh, they invited me to go to a cigar bar, uh, and um, this guy's been listening to your show uh, ever since you've been in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he, uh, he said, hey, he contacted me on Facebook and said, hey, I'd like to get together. Let's have a cigar. So I said, sure. Mm -hmm. So he took me up on it. <laughs> and we, uh, we got together and had a wonderful time. Uh, I, at this place, I, I don't know anything about Irish whiskey. But the why, uh, why is your camera shaking every time you talk? Oh, I'm uh, I'm I'm probably leaning on the desk. Yeah, I think you are. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll right. lean on the chair arms. Uh, so anyway, they had an exhibition on Irish Irish whiskey, and uh, it was very interesting. I had a good time. The guy uh, the guy was a nice guy. Uh, his name is Paul Jung, mm -hmm. and uh, I asked him why he doesn't call the show. And uh, he, he said he did call you uh, when you did um, uh, the radio show uh, in, in, in New York. What's his name? Walter's show. Uh, and uh, he said he was the guy that said, lay off a of fill. <laughs> oh, really? So, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he's a real fan of yours. And oh, uh, I, I was happy to, uh, uh, to meet him. Mm -hmm. He was a good guy. And, and uh, some of his friends and family. So uh, while you were uh, discussing the uh, pluses and minuses of Trump, I, I was smoking a really good cigar. What, what were we talking about last night? I can't uh, remember now. I don't know. It's always uh, It's something. always the same old shit. 
Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And so, now it doesn't look like anybody's calling tonight, which is amazing. Well, uh, are you sure everything's working? Now, I went in the normal way uh, through the contacts. Uh, you know, I listened and I heard afterwards. Well, the problem I happened to be, problems. I think the problem happened to be with my Skype. And when I turned it off and then turned it back on, it started running properly. So, yeah. Uh, you don't think that it's punishment for being thrown out of uh, TuneIn? No, I, I, I don't think so. I've been I've been so crying over that because I, yeah. I I you know we had a partnership agreement with with TuneIn, uh, and then I sat there and stopped feeling bad about it when I suddenly realized what I had gotten out of it was absolutely nothing. Is this another divorce, but without alimony? Uh, it's another divorce where you forgot you were married to the person. You well, know. yeah, I know, but you know, if they're gonna if they're gonna get rid of you, at least they can do is buy you off. You're not working. You're not. You're not. I mean, I wish I could even. Income. I wish I could even feel like um, nasty enough that I could say, "Fuck, uh, tune in. Don't ever use tune in again. Don't listen to them." But I don't really care because they didn't do shit for me with this partnership. I don't even know what that was about. I think uh, I got about a week's worth of of jizz out of them, and that's about it. You know, yeah, I, I think uh, what's his name up in Canada was the one that kind of put that together for some reason. No, I put it together. Oh, you put it together? Oh, oh yeah, okay. that was my deal completely. Yeah, yeah. No, he but, just liked uh, to constantly like to call us a tune-in partner. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it was probably a good thing to do at the time. It got you a week or so of publicity. And uh, you know, that's that's better than a kick in the ass or a sharp poke in the eye. Nah. Doesn't mean anything. Is anybody else going to call tonight, or is it just going to be Phil and I? Jeez, I don't know what's happened. Nobody listens to us anymore. We got a large. It's funny. We got a lot of people watching us tonight. Yeah. Uh, and let's see. How's the how's the listenership doing? Maybe the listenership is doing okay too. Uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of people listening to us. Uh, so why isn't anybody calling us? Beats me. Beats you. But, uh, you know, and I don't want to have to watch his desk shaking like crazy. Oh, I'm the sorry. Camera's I, just I keep, shaking. Uh, you know what I'll do uh, is I'll stick it on a stand that's isolated from the desk. Yes, that's what you right, should do. Yeah, right now it's it's on the monitor on yeah. the top of the monitor, yeah. and the monitor is uh, connected to the desk. And the desk is a cheap desk. It's an IKEA desk. Oh well, then it's a cheap desk. <laughs> Yeah, although it, it, it's uh, shaped in a way uh, like you'd see in a studio, uh, it, it curves. Uh, so oh, you is, know, isn't that nice? Yeah. But but it also shakes, which means it's not stable. Like for instance, I can shake this table here, and you yeah. really don't see much of a shake, you know, no. because it's a real stable. The real stable tables, stable tables. Yeah, stable tables. Stable tables. Well. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I have all of these uh, stands, and I can just mount it on a stand that's independent of the uh, of the table. Yeah, because I like shaking the table. You like shaking the table. I see. Yeah. Okay, it's about the only thing I can shake anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so you went yeah. to a cigar bar. I don't know what I would do at a cigar bar because I don't like cigars. Well, uh, you know, I don't smoke that often. Uh, unlike Rob, he's a real cigar aficionado. Yeah. Uh, I, I have some cigars that I bought. Uh, a friend of mine his, uh, had a friend who passed away. And this guy had an enormous uh, contingent of Cuban cigars. So he says, do you want to buy a box? I'm selling them off for his widow. Mm -hmm. So I bought a box of Cuban cigars. This is four years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I had 30 cigars. I still have 26. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. Don't they go bad after a while, or you have them in a humidor? I have them in a humidor, but I, I, the uh, the guy last night really knows his cigars. Yeah. And uh, Paul, and he told me that eventually they'll mold uh, if you leave them, in, uh, if you have them too long. Mm -hmm. uh, although the cigar that he gave me, he, he brought, and it was not Cuban, but it was so superior to the cigars that I have. Now I'm jaded. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, who says there aren't lousy Cuban cigar makers in Cuba? Yeah, well, these, these are supposedly really premium Listen, cigars. The only, reason, but the only reason we wanted Cuban cigars, okay? Because you can't have them. Because you can have them. Yeah. You know. Right. 
Um, although there's a great story of a friend of mine who was in London, and he went to a cigar store and figured, ah, you know what I can do? I can buy Cuban cigars here. So he goes into the into the store, and the owner says, well, I have some fine Cuban cigars here. He said, let me suggest this one. Mm-hmm. And he gives it to him. He said, would you like to smoke it here? And he said, yeah. He says, I think I'll have one with you. And so he took one, and then he helped him clip the end of it or whatever you do, yeah. and then to light it. And then he took a puff off of his... And he looked up at up in the air and blew the smoke out and said, "You Americans are so stupid." <laughs> <laughs> you know, and well, the guy said, "Like the guy said, it was like great- when you go to a when you go to a bar and uh, the uh, you, you tell the bartender uh, ha- have one for yourself." Yeah, and uh, he takes a glass of water and charges you forty dollars. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Well, is anybody else going to call tonight, or is it just going to be you and me? That could be very boring. Yeah. Well, especially if we start talking about Apple stuff. Uh, yeah. Now. Oh, no. You know what we can talk about? We can talk about something really that makes no sense at all. Let me see here. Something that's really boring. Um, how to replace RAM in an old Mac uh, would be a good uh-huh. Good topic That's, here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah, they, that, that'll increase listeners, though. Huh? That'll inc- increase listeners. It's yeah. tech talk. Well, so far we now can add somebody to the. Well, I, I did I speak too soon? Oh, there he is. There he is. There's ah, Jason. Mr. Jason. It's Jason. Hello, Jason. Hey, how's it going? Now you're where again? I'm trying to remember. Just uh, north of Detroit. North of Detroit. Uh, do you have any major um, uh, elections happening there? I mean, any major contests? Governor. Governor, yeah. Uh, senators. Yeah. Uh, Are you near Oak Park? Yeah. Uh, not really. Oh, okay. So how, how, how's, how, how, how is it looking uh, in your neck of the woods? Uh, mm-hmm. Polls-wise, it's a little hit and miss. You know, one day they'll sit there and say, you know, it's almost tied. And then the next day they come out and say that, you know, the Democrats are going to, like, sweep, you know, and... and so I don't know. It's I don't think we're really going to know anything till it happens. Day. You know, uh, and and we may not even know on the day. Uh, it may end up taking uh, more time. There be, it may end up being runoffs because so many of these races are within the margin of error uh, or in a dead heat. Yeah, and they say they say the Republicans might actually pick up some Senate seats, but they, if they lose the con, if they lose the, uh, the House, House. Uh, I would be happy with that. You know, uh, at least one thing is positive in Michigan. We have, uh, I think it's proposal two. They want to get rid of the gerrymandering. Oh, okay. so <clears throat> you know, it'll actually be uh, they they say it's how like how uh, California does it. How do they do it over there? Because it says it's an independent, uh, you know, council that decides the districts. Uh, in California, they just bust in the illegal aliens and felons and uh, Sweet. tell them to vote. That's good. That's good. Now, how, how, how exactly, how exactly do they prove they're, they're legal? Uh, they don't. Uh, they just... Oh, oh, uh, because in, Calif- of- in California, they don't mind if you're illegal and you vote. Is that what you're uh, saying? You know, there's uh, a couple of places. San Francisco... Because, you know, the actually- Democrats now have been literally accused of just about everything. I think the latest ad I saw said that if elected... Uh, cats will start having sex with dogs. I think I saw an ad to that extent. Uh, In San Francisco, they actually are allowing illegals to vote in the school, uh, uh, for the school race. Uh, Uh, They'll let the illegals vote for the prom queen and king? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, well... (laughs) Is that how you got elected? (laughs) But, uh, no, uh, it's uh, the school board, I think. Uh, is uh, and they're and they're allowing people to. Oh, so they'll, they'll let the parents of the students vote. Doesn't right. matter on their citizenship. Oh, that's does right. that uh, does that honestly feel? Does that sound bad to you? Uh, come on, your kids be, be, going to the school. Be reasonable. Is that is that necessarily bad? No, probably not. Okay. Oh my God, Phil, there is some hope but, for you. Uh, yeah, I don't believe in heart think, liberal, Phil. Yeah, I don't think it should be in a state, uh, a state or a city election. I think well, that if they're going to have, you know, that that they can participate in school board things uh, without so voting. It just be a more of a cost onto the school instead of just having the election during the regular election time. They should have a separate election and cost more money. 
Well, uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, I'm torn on that one uh, because is it is it legitimate for non-citizens to vote? No. But uh, is do they have a stake in what goes on in the schools? Yes, they do. By the, so, by the way, when are the when are the when's the caravan arriving? It's uh, after the election. I just tapped my watch and yeah. it went. It's ten forty-five. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, well, maybe you'll get some new listeners if the caravan uh, makes it here. If the caravan makes it here. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering uh, when the caravan's supposed to arrive because I want to be down there with some like little gift baskets, you know, things like that to, to welcome them. Uh, Keep these Native Americans out of yeah, our yeah. false European bordered country. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think you should give them back New York. You know, as I said earlier, you stole it from the indigenous people. Well, well uh, California was straight up stolen and, from Mexico. Well, no, and, no, and wait, Alex wait, no, wait, no, squatting, uh, squatting uh, actually, in New York. Phil, you're a you're a squatter in uh, Mexican territory. Oh uh, no, I'm a renter now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, y you know, it, it it's uh, it's uh, kind of interesting. This. Uh, because I want to know when they're going to show up. Uh, I think they're supposed to show up uh, about uh, right after January 1st, somewhere. You know, the there. thing that I think is funny, how they're talking about how they're coming here illegally <clears throat> and doing all this illegal. They're, they're going to the U.S. border and applying for asylum. That's not illegal. No. They, Stop said, fucking it's saying not that's a, illegal. It's not a port they're of entry. For a, What's no, not a port of entry? Go You're going to gonna tell me that entry. just the border in general. Bill, they're going to go to a port of entry and apply for asylum. There are that's ports of entry. The way they should. Away. That's the way. That's yes. That's the way they should, and that's what they're doing. That's how these kids were getting taken away from their parents because they were going no. to a port. You fill bull fucking shit. Don't fucking even. The sit. ones that came to a port they of entry did not. No, that, those are exactly yes, the people that got did, separated from their they kids. They sat Phil. them down on a bench and they said, "We're going to take your kids to go get a shower." Hmm, maybe as a Jew, you should think a little bit about that. We're taking your kids to go get a shower. Or fake We're taking news. your kids away from you and put them in a prison and put you in a separate prison. They came here legally. They were applying for asylum. They were doing what they were supposed to do, and I, they ripped their kids away from their parents. I think these were the ones that were climbing over the wall. No, it was yeah. not. And... Uh, well, can you prove it? No, wasn't? these weren't these yes, weren't Phil. These weren't it's kids that were Phil. families that were climbing over the wall. These were families who were trying to come through the port of entry. They went to a legal port of entry and applied for asylum. And during the process of applying for asylum, they ripped their kids away from them and put them in prison. You, you don't uh, don't look. Sure. Uh, you're looking it up, Phil, but you're going to yeah, find out you're wrong. You, I, whatever you whatever you him, find is going to be up. fake let news. Let him look up. He'll find it's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're uh, children taken from parents that. Uh, 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 <laughs> you're dry. This is you're driving him crazy, Jason. Because but that, that's but you know what? what it shuts him, it shuts him up for a while. So go right ahead, Savage the, Trump. The, do anything you want to do while he's trying trying to. He's going to find at least one thing. You know, everything that you want to find online to support your beliefs, you can find if you search enough. I mean, anything, even if it's wrong, you can find some article that will support it. It's probably written by the Russians, but you can find an <laughs> article to support it. So, you know. Uh, yeah, if, uh, this is not uh, giving me what I want to hear. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. All it's, it's uh, saying is, uh, uh, yeah, what, you know, what is happening uh, to the kids at the border? Yeah, what, uh, so what, it's going to take a second. What's happening to them? They're crying a lot. That's for damn sure. You know, they can't even, the they, they, even if the law came along and said you've got to put all these kids back together with their parents, it couldn't happen because they've, they've, they don't know who these kids belong to. Sure, most of those kids weren't really with their parents. Oh, I see. Oh, is that they, what you're they saying? With, they were just being used as pawns. Let's say, let's say, what, let's say what you're, what, well, let's say what you're saying is true in one case. Is that enough to say everybody was that way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, the president the other day said there are tw he told his audience there are 20,000 people headed for the border. 
and they're not even close to that many. They didn't start, they started out with five, it got up to 7,000, and now it's down to something like, I hear, 2,000. Isn't there another uh, caravan right behind the, uh, the this one? Well, it's the Camel News caravan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and there, there's one thing that you guys have been talking about a lot on here about with them. Why aren't they going or staying in Mexico? And people are saying it's just as dangerous in Mexico. You know, you guys got to get over all that. Mexico is not as dangerous as everybody makes it out to be. Some of these border cities where the drug trade is going on, yes, they are dangerous. The majority of Mexico is not dangerous. Like the, the whole entire uh, Yucatan Peninsula, and it's actually been in the news lately because there was a ferry bombing and stuff. The, the crime rate in the Yucatan Peninsula is less than the state of Michigan. The ferry yeah, so bombing was the uh, uh, was the boat that went uh, from Playa del Carmen to, yeah, to uh, Cozumel. Cozumel. Yeah. And I've taken that many, many times. And... Uh, uh, that would be a another scary travelogue experience. from another travelogue from Phil. I don't Phil. think I would do it now. I'd be too scared to do it. But at the same time, I know the whole entire Yucatan Peninsula. The crime rate, on average, for the last I don't even know how many years, is less than the state of Michigan. So so, that's easy. You know, that's that. That's yeah, easy we to be less. <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, it, it's just the, the the way that they put these well, fear tactics you know, and the, everybody the, the about fear all these thing, other countries. Uh, I'll so tell you, the worse. thing that's bothering me is the fear tactics that Trump is doing by literally stating facts that are not true, you know, uh, and and saying that there are twenty thousand people headed this way. There never were twenty thousand people headed this but way. The the thing too about why aren't these people just going to Mexico and why are they coming to the United States? Because Mexico actually goes after the employer for hiring illegals working there maybe the united states should try doing that too and going after the employer for hiring illegals yeah if they did oh, that I here i think if they did that here you would probably find less people jumping well, over the border to come here verify i'm not required to use it because of the number of employees it, well, Phil, that I have Phil, yeah but that. nobody uses e-verify when there's a guy out in front of the home depot and they pick him up to go mow their lawn okay nobody uses e-verify for that and that mm. constitutes a job. Those people, those homeowners doing that should be busted. But, they you know, should. at the same time, you know, which is maybe in my past, I know your local, we call a party store, convenience store or bar, you know, they'll hire people locally and they'll be under the table. They should be popped just the same as hiring an illegal immigrant. You know, if you're not paying the taxes on your employer or your employee, I mean, you should be popped. You're, well, there, you know, that that's tax fraud. You know, there's an underground economy that uh, you know, I compete against because I'm a legitimate guy that has workman's compensation insurance on his employees. I withhold taxes. I do tax matching. And I treat anyone that doesn't have a license and a place of business and workers' compensation insurance uh, the same. They are employees. And, and don't you think that there should be some some type of institution out there to make sure everybody's playing by the same rules? Uh, or is that too much government just be, regulation it, for you? I think, yeah, I think it's too much government regulation. So they it's should just too much do government the right regulation thing. to say that the business next door doing the exact same thing is a legal business and not an illegal business? You know, I just think people should do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. I, I, I don't I don't want to see should. a ton of regular I don't want to see a ton of regulation. But is that regulation Phil, to have maybe some type of uh, institution out there to look into a business to say are you playing by the rules or are you not? Well, uh, just like the, a cop, are you speeding down the road or are you not? Yeah, I mean, look, let's be very honest about something, Phil. Yeah. And, and let me also be something honest to the audience that next Tuesday is election night, and we'd like to do our big election night show. But if I don't get more people than this tonight, I'm not doing a show Tuesday or ever again, okay? And I'm serious about it. Uh, because, you know, I do this thing, and I, I we would like the participation of an audience, okay? And we're just, tonight we're not getting it. We didn't get it last night either, for the most part. So... You know, uh, there will be no nope. show Tuesday if I don't see an improvement in the... Ah, fuck them. You got me on here, man. Yeah, yeah I got you. That's it. good. But anyway, the point that I'm going to make, <laughs> Phil... Yeah, with him on there, why, why the don't point you that I, just the point retire that I, early? To begin with, uh, uh, you know, I, I, you will disagree with this, but I think left to their own devices, left to their own honesty, 
uh, businesses will be totally dishonest. I don't think so. No, businesses will not do the right thing. It's not the businesses that are the problem. This is it's why the they need. This is why they need regulation. But it's it's runs, these. It's these. Businesses. If you if you don't have the regulations, Phil, then it's, it isn't going to just be the individuals. They're going to be thousands of individuals no, there, doing. There is a ton of people that are kind of like unlicensed contractors. They're contracting. They're they're not licensed. No 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 no. Forget and, about that. Forget about can, that, Phil. I'm can, talking they, about business. One, I'm talking about business in general. No, I don't want to listen to you because I'm talking about business well, in fuck general. Fuck you then. I'm not talking. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck your uh, no, but here's the point. Um, uh, 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 you're you're going to, and I forgot what the point was going to be. Uh, uh, That's because you just uh, wanted oh, to talk no, over me. No, no, I'm just saying business in general. I'm talking about everything from big business to small businesses. People are, the companies are going to do everything they can to get by the cheapest way possible. They won't, if you don't let them just you make it uh, absolutely anarchy out there for for uh, for businesses they won't be required to have health uh, code that's, things and that's you know. the difference between you and me i look at the positive things and i say to myself i think people are good yes and i think but that, that has people yet, will that, left to their own that has never that, no that's things. never been proven phil that's why we you know why but, we but have a women you know why all these laws came into being because there was because a time Democrats there wasn't no 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 it. no they were, we go back to the times when Republicans instituted some of these these things too as well all right but we we you know why why did we have unions because there were so many of these companies they just weren't doing right by the people who work for them you know to say that a business will be honest if you just let them do what they have to do and not put any regulation on them is absolutely a false assumption. They will just try and get the biggest profits they can and treat their See, employees like using shit. A, you're using a sledgehammer when a pat on the back is really what's oh, needed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, these business people are really great for pats on the back. Yeah. You know, you got to reinforce things in a positive manner. If yeah. you if you if you just be draconian and try to uh, uh, you know regulate people into e extinction, uh, you're not going to. Uh, Who's going to regulate people? Into, it isn't a matter of regulating them to, into extinction. It's regulating them into honesty and into doing what's right. Because unfortunately, they don't know on their own what it is it's, to do it's right. The, it's not the fault of the business that the end user is greedy and looks to hire the these end user. People. Yeah, it's it's people like Jason. No, it's not really Jason. But, you know, it's people that pull up to the Home Depot or the 7-Eleven hey, hey, and Phil, say, I need four guys. Jump in. Phil, are there plenty of businesses in your business who hire illegals? Yeah. So that's, does the homeowner necessarily, when they're getting carpet put in, does the homeowner necessarily know if that installer is legally hired or illegally hired? They, they, they can know. And the reason they can know is that uh, you, my people are vetted. I pay for background checks and and so forth, and I can provide documentation. No, 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 no. But that's not what he asked you. He but, asked uh, do you. Do I, as a shopper, want to do all this legwork? All you have why to should do I have ask. to do that? If the guy why, and why and, and, have... and the guy can lie to you. Well, he can. Why, why yes, he I can, and he probably re will. Lie. Why shouldn't I be able to rely on this company that I'm hiring that as a licensed company is following by the rules? Because at the same time, if, if, I, if I have to do the legwork to find out that, do I have to do the legwork to find out who built the bridge I'm driving over? Now, Jason, listen to me for a second. If, is that bridge if, built by illegals no, and it wasn't no, built right that, and it's not up to code? Your, your elevator is only Shouldn't going up to your eyeballs. Listen to but, me. Hey, I want my elevator to go up to my eyeballs safely. Now, <laughs> I do too. By code. So listen to me for a second, Jason. If you deal with a legitimate company that's licensed and has a workers' comp policy, chances are there it's very difficult for them to hire illegals and to pay uh, cash to these illegals what they're what because they're already they're in the system and you to circumvent the system when you're doing things the right way is more difficult than to uh, cheat 
Uh, so uh, what you're dealing with is if you have these other contractors that are really unlicensed contractors that are skirting the system, those are mainly the ones that are working in a cash society and but, saying, hey, pay me cash, and, and they're, and they're hey, uh, Phil, avoiding so, paying so their taxes. What about, what about legal contractors who have licenses who are hiring illegals? Just like Trump has been doing in his construction projects. He's it's, had illegals working for him. He had Come 50, on, man. 501 or 503 uh, HB1 visa guys. But, and, uh, but then half of them have been illegal. <laughs> He's well, been hiring white illegals to work his construction sites. But that, that's all I'm saying, now, Phil. Is, it's in New York there, shouldn't, City? Shouldn't, shouldn't, yes. Shouldn't there be something in the government going on to look and regulate this stuff to make sure that the company you're hiring is working by the rules. No, uh, I, I no, think no. That, we shouldn't make sure companies work by the rules. No, we should make sure that people do the right thing. We Have should make sure read... individuals who hire a company hire the right company, but we right. shouldn't make sure that the company works by the rules. Well, the company will work by the rules if they're the right company. You know, how do you make sure they're the right company? Uh, because they're licensed, they're insured, and they can provide that information. Well, you Who's know, responsibility. All I'm saying, all, sure all I think he's trying to say, insured, Phil, is, is it's the consumer's responsibility. The average, the, it's no, like, it is so not the I'm consumer's. When I'm driving over a bridge, it's my responsibility to make sure that it was a, a regulator, no, uh, licensed, bridge, insured person. There's, there's two kinds so of contracts. So whose responsibility is it to make sure that bridge uh, is shut right? your If you shut your pie hole for one no, second. No, no, if, you, if you'll shut your pie hole and listen to what he's trying to say to you, Phil. Yeah. You know, so really, they, I'm serious, so Phil. Phil, Al, Al, what he's trying to say relax. to you? What he, no, what he's trying to? No, this is my last night doing this show, so I want to get my licks in. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, 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 the fact of the matter is, what he's trying to say is, no, it's not the responsibility. If he asks some carpet layer, are your people uh, uh, legitimate workers? Okay, uh, and whatever, and the guy goes because he wants to sell carpet. Yeah, sure, they are. Well, well then what he's do you, a liar. Well, then he's a liar, but how do you know he's lying? What, do you have to go check on it? Do you have to go check with the board in California yes. or whatever? No. It's, it's you're online. just you're just trying to hire somebody to put in a carpet. You don't think and, twice and about it's, that. It's, it's online. The, the, you can go the to the person CSLB. who laid the bridge. The person who laid the bridge is just a carpet layer with a different type of product over top of a the foundation. Person, let me tell you something. The person who laid the bridge, that's a government contract, usually those are what uh, it's a special kind of payroll uh, uh, called a uh, certified payroll. And uh, all the taxes, all the stuff, everything, every employee is listed on that. And to do a certified payroll, you also have to pay uh, the. Uh, you're uh, dreaming, the, Phil. The you're, you're fucking wages. dreaming, Phil. You're thinking that a person I do it all the time. who hires I work you. For Habitat for Humanity no, no. And my payroll has we, to be we certified. Don't, but the, the average person doesn't even know that these things exist. They, they don't even think to really ask are your guys well, legal because that, they that don't was, know. That was for the bridge project. For instance, if you're working on a government project, uh, there are different requirements. Look, I will agree that a government project probably would require legal workers working on that bridge. But what exactly. I'm talking about, exactly. but we're talking so about services, Jason, services that Jason might no, use or I might use. If I had bridge, some, if I had somebody put used, carpet in this Alex. apartment, if I had somebody put carpet in this apartment. I'm not going to ask them, are these guys legal or not? Hey, there are guys living in the fucking basement of this building who then during the day work tearing down and re re renovating the apartments, they call it. I call it destroying the apartments. They call it renovation. And they're very bad at it, by the way. And they're all illegals. All right? Uh, do you think that I uh, asked that question of the of the landlord? Hey, are these guys legal or doing all this renovation? No, that's the job of the city to do that. But no, that would be imposing upon them uh, too many no. government regulations. Call the contractor's license board and say there seems to be some illegal activity, uh, construction. And activity suppose taking suppose place in the suppose building. the landlords don't have haven't signed any deal with the carpenters union or whatever, and they don't give they, a shit. They come out, the contractor's license board will come out, and they'll uh, 
they'll issue citations. They have powers of, uh, yeah, and so, of arrest. Okay, and so you get a little slap on the fucking wrist, and well, uh, and 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 the the fi fine is a small enough fine that you figure that's the cost of doing business. Hey, and Phil, here's uh, another question too. Do you think you find more illegals in union jobs or non-union jobs? Non-union. Hmm, thanks. Okay, you just yeah. made a, you just made a, uh, a case for the unions. Well, you know the unions are hey, legitimate hey, hey, employers. Hey, hey, Phil, Phil, do you think that uh, uh, regulations should be set at a federal level or at a local job level? Uh, local job level. Hmm, there's another argument for unions. You know the the how is that an argument for unions? Yeah, do you use because union workers? Unions by the way, are the film? ones who set the rules occasionally. For the job. Uh, <clears throat> You're, uh, I was, I was should actually be so Wait a minute. What do you mean occasionally, Phil? So crazy. You can't uh, occasionally I, do it. You either yes, some, hire I, union workers no, or I, you I don't. No, I hire a subcontractor that's a union shop. Oh, okay. And and so uh, the subcontractor has a union agreement. Mm -hmm. And so if I have to, if I'm bidding on a union job, I have them uh, provide the labor. What uh, kind of a job do they do for you? Pretty good job or uh, pretty shitty? Well, these are people that I've known for 35 years. And so they, they do a good job, right? Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, yeah. it's, it's just that uh, in, in California, the unions are very weak. And there's only a few places that uh, require union labor, uh, like uh, Moscone Center and a, and, a, and a few other places in the city. So uh, the, uh, it's very difficult if you're going to use union labor all the time to compete against non-union shops, uh, unless it's a it's a requirement. Yeah, but those are the and if they're non, you know, all he's saying is is that if unions are they give you people that are legals, and the non-union shops give you the people who aren't legal. Well, that's not necessarily true. Not necessarily. You, you, you can't say that the. Non, non the, shops not necessarily is the operative word but here. But you can't say that the union shop is hiring illegals. No, I don't think that they are. But on the no, other hand, not. you can't condemn the non-union shops just because they're not union. And and some and I personally can only speak for myself, but would not hire uh, someone that was not legitimate. It's fraud, and I don't do that. You know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to accept somebody's uh, 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 card that says their name is Jackie Schwartz and, uh, you know, they just got off the, uh, the turnip truck. You know? let, me, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about when I talk about companies, okay? There is a company uh, that we all know whose motto when they first started was do no harm. You know what company that was? Do no harm. Do not harm. I literally. You've heard the saying, uh, right? No, it's not medical. No. Uh, a company that when they opened the doors, one of their main mottos was do no harm. I know that saying. Who is it? Google. Huh. Google uh, right now is having people walk out on strike because of terrible wages and because of the way women are treated within the company, and the terrible wages are, they're paying the equivalent of $30,000 a year, which now, in this day and age, is kind of poverty level. How come Google employees in San Francisco are the only ones that can afford uh, houses and apartments? Because those are the upper echelon people at Google. That is not the average worker at Google. You don't hear about Google. the janitor at Google. You don't hear about the janitor. You don't hear about the average grunt uh, sitting there in, in uh, you know, uh, uh, customer you mean support. The guy when it went public, uh, who became it's a, a known fact overnight? that they pay an average of thirty thousand dollars a year. Well, so and, does and they, and wait a minute, wait that? a minute. They start you at thirty five. Okay. Hey, okay. Uh, uh, wait a minute. And that's in Kentucky, not San Francisco. R right. The, well, the, uh, the, well, the Google well, employees well, that walked out walked out in London. They walked out in, in New uh, York, where they were getting paid thirty thousand dollars a year. Who can live in New York on thirty thousand dollars a year? Well, that's what Sirius pays. That's exactly right. Another corporation who is like uh, on the cheap because they don't have unions. And that's in why there. Alex lives in Harlem. Yeah, but you don't have to work for Google. You know? No, you uh, don't have to work for Google, but you got to work for somebody. And Google, being a big company, sets the tone for everybody else. 
Well, I wish I could buy, get somebody to work for me for 30000 a year, but I can't do it. Yeah, you know, well, people, all I'm saying... Don't all, take those jobs. Yeah, well, all I'm saying is is that here in New York, hey, you want a job, Google's got them, and it's $30,000 a year, you take it, you know. Well, well, they're, well, the well they're, wa they're walking out now, and they're making Google look bad. Now, th now, this is what happens when a corporation, a corporation said do no harm, was considered a great corporation, it suddenly turns out to be a shitty corporation. But see, that's why that's why Phil votes Republican because he wants people to work for him for thirty thousand dollars a year. That's not true. I want people to work for a fair wage, and I want the customer to pay a fair uh, price for the uh, for the products and services that they're getting. And if they cut, you know, there has to be a meeting of the minds. If you got a customer that doesn't want to pay anything, you got uh, installers that want to get paid a fair wage. Uh, sometimes I just can't do business with some people because you know there's no meeting of the minds and uh you know you, you got to be able to say i can't do every job you know if that job isn't right for me you know i had a guy the other day uh made an appointment i went over there to measure he he didn't he didn't show up i waited it was uh, uh it was um halloween evening and so uh i waited 20 minutes 30 minutes Finally, the baby. Oh, excuse got a me. Hold excuse me. Uh, Tom Yamaguchi just corrected me. The Google motto was "Don't be evil." That was the motto. Same, same thing. You know, it, yeah. pr pretty much. It's it's a little more than the "Do no harm." It do, uh, do no evil. Uh, don't be evil. And they're being see, evil. See no evil. They're being <laughs> evil. You know. Here. Thank you, well, Tom. I, I appreciate that. I, I don't that. know that they're being evil. Google, their employees, for instance, said that they didn't want them working on certain government military projects. And Google, uh, uh, you know, and I don't think to their credit, but to the credit of the employees, they listened to them and they and they and they pulled out of those uh, government contracts uh, to develop uh, certain kinds of products uh, that you know they use in war. So. Uh, is it that Google doesn't listen to their uh, employees? I don't think that's true. Now, uh, what's happening with this uh, walkout was that they're saying that there was some executives that got a, a golden umbrella and... Uh, it's called a and golden parachute, Phil. Parachute, uh, whatever, uh, and, uh, or parasol, depending if it's a woman. And uh, so... Uh, these guys got paid a significant no, amount of money, and they all, were complained this against. Is, this isn't all they're complaining about, Phil. Well, that's this a, the main, that's all, this no, this the main wasn't deal. the main deal. No, no. The main deal was, number one, the inequality of paychecks to women as opposed to men in that company. There was also an argument over uh, the way in which women are treated in that company. And there was this, this well, just the lousiness of the wages there that a lot of people walked out on. I think it was, I think it was, you, you may be right about No, uh, I wages. am right. Not, I am right, I, Phil. Uh, no, don't take credit so fast. <laughs> uh, now, uh, but uh, from what I understand, uh, there were some high-level executives that uh, were not disciplined but, you know, how is not being disciplined being fired, uh, but they were given a golden parachute? Uh, well, because they, uh, had they, that, they had that in their contract. I mean, people were using that as an argument, okay, uh, as, as an argument for why the thing is, uh, you know, why uh, it's just using an example of, hey, here's a guy who did something terrible to some woman or something. He got fired by the company but he got a golden parachute for it. Well, the trouble is the golden parachute was written into his contract and they couldn't let him go without paying him that golden parachute, all right? Yeah. So in that respect, that's not Google's fault. So I'll, I'll, I'll argue on the side of Google that they had to pay that out, but, but their argument is why give out these golden parachutes at all? Uh, they, they did, and it was before the uh, alleged crime or alleged incident uh, happened. No, but why uh, give out pa golden parachutes at all? Why uh, because should Because they can. Well, it, you know, if Because that's what you need to present attract. to somebody who's going to be well, a higher up okay. in order to well, retain them. Okay, well, then you, tell, you just say, sorry, we're, we can't take you. If, you. if you want a golden parachute, go somewhere else. We don't have golden parachutes yeah, but here. that's a problem if somebody else would You know, we have, we have, the, your golden parachute is don't treat people badly and you'll probably be here for the rest of your life. You right. Know? 
That's well. That's the way I do it. You yeah. know, there's a book called The Four Agreements, and I have found that if I follow those four agreements, mm. uh, I you know, it's it's okay. You don't have a lot of problems, and uh, you know, you just do the right thing. Yeah. And uh, you know, we've been joined by Patrick, by the way. Hello, Patrick. How are you? This makes us three people now. This is marginally making me maybe come back to work on Tuesday. <laughs> Well, yeah. it's three people and an announcer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I listened to the show last night. Yeah. I wasn't able to call in um, because my I was on the phone with my mother, and her best friend niece died mm -hmm. after having her tongue removed. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was, she had cancer of the tongue, had it removed. Well, I was going to say, you, your, your cousin wasn't Whitey Bolger, was it? You know. Uh, well, <laughs> That was the really weird thing is when I heard about that. But now, so she uh, had her tongue cut out, and then uh, they just found uh, cancer in her lungs and uh, in her throat, and she was in hospice for two days and died. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, my condolences. Wow. Uh, was she, uh, how old was I she? I also hear that Tony's mother is not well, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I hear that. Not from Tony, but through other sources yeah. um, ah. so we wish his mother all the best okay yeah well, even after i blocked tony even after you blocked him, damn yeah. such an asshole his mom's dying and, and you, you blocked him, him? what a, i he, just he sends me pictures of cereal boxes i know and i i uh, i un i un unblocked him at the least other it's day. not serial killers I, I unblocked him the other day, but he hasn't noticed yet, so don't tell him. <laughs> no, no, he, he actually said something. Uh -oh. He says, I, I sent Alex, uh, one of his last texts to me was, I sent Alex something in it, and it went through. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, Tony, uh, uh, Patrick. I, I suggested to Tony that instead of sending two and three word sentences that are you know, like a machine gun coming off. Yes. Like, like a stream of consciousness texting. Just consider everything you want to say. Put it in one text. If it takes you 20 minutes to type it out, and then we read it. Because that's what I do. I just put him on mute for like an hour. Let all of the shit come by, and then I'll check it. And there it is. It's a paragraph. And then it makes sense. It's not... You don't always get the choice of mute, but it, it is yeah. like a machine gun. By the way, uh, by the way, I'm I'm wondering where where Brian is tonight because I had a big argument with him last night about whether really? syphilis started in Europe or not. He uh, he no, it started. No, in syphilis Pittsburgh. started in the Americas. Uh, no, it didn't. I looked no, it syphilis, up. Syphilis, I believe, no. was actually one of the diseases that the Columbus. Oh. Uh, the people on the Columbus trip actually got in the Americas. Well, it may be, but it was syphilis that already existed in Europe before they took off on that trip. Mm. Yes, I looked it up. You know, Alex, if you listen to uh, uh, Jason, if you listen to Alex's first half hour, this was part of the things that he talked about was that he was so proud that he had found that uh, he was right when it came to the American. No, no, the, Indian proudest, the, the proudest, the uh, proudest, the proudest thing that I did this week, and I now I kind of resent it, is I got your microphone going again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Yeah, I kind of liked it the other way, where you're kind of limited and you didn't talk as much. But now you yeah. got your mic back, and it's like a weapon. Well, you need me tonight. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, re remember, Alex, you've got. Um, uh, so Brian, you can call what? Uh, you got Jeff. He's overseas on vacation. Right. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there, there's one that would normally call. Um, where's what that? about Renee, man? She's just being a bitch and not calling anymore. No, she's, well, she calls. Uh, but that's the time difference, I think. No, she's yeah, a, she, she does the chat. She does the chat here. here. Calling in yeah. to but Jack Jack's is later. Show. You know, she's five hours from the. Uh, uh, or three, uh, three hours from. Uh, anyway, uh, no, she she if she's if she's on if, if she's do. on the chat, she could call. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. yeah. and I mean a bitch in a good way, Renee. Might have been a bad hair day. Who knows? You know, <laughs> that was me. Yeah, yeah. Came on late because I had to fix my hair. Yeah, oh, right. Trump said he had a bad hair day the other day. So, yeah. So, but hey, I just sorry to go to my point. So, the, a bad hair day for him is that it shifted. It got in the way of a propeller and shifted continents. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. What were you saying? 
I'm saying so syphilis didn't come from the Americas? It, no, it was here. The Indians had it. Okay. The, the uh, Indians had it or the, the Native the, Americans? Well, the Native had Americans had it. I don't know when they started to get it or where it came from, but they had it. But in Europe, syphilis was started in about uh, uh, 1490, and it came from the French, brought it in to, to a lot of yeah, the countries uh, there. Yeah. Did uh, Napoleon or uh, I know a number of those this is 1490s, generals. not Napoleon. Well, no, 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 no. But uh, it United was a number States. of people in Europe that had syphilis. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, and, and it was uh, including it, Hitler. Yeah, yeah, and and that it was actually the uh, the uh, uh, travelers to the New World who brought syphilis and but did not necessarily give it to the Indians. Okay that the Indians may have gotten it on their own. Could have been they came across the Bering Strait and it came with that. You know, you don't know. But uh, there are a lot of hypotheses about that. But that so it that, was that existing. That was the one thing I thought that the natives gave to the Europeans yeah. was syphilis. Yeah. And then the Europeans gave smallpox and everything else. Brian must not be natives. listening tonight because if he were, I think he'd be calling just lickety split. For spite. <laughs> lickety split, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, uh, all I'm saying is, is that, oh, well, here comes Kevin. Here comes Kevin. I guess, I guess I can't quit doing this. Damn it. I was looking forward to being so mad that I wouldn't do a show next week. Son of a Why bitch. Why would mad? Because I'm, I just, it's the lack of participation lately. You know, the kind of, although the other night I did have 10 people. And, I had a couple of slow days. I'm going to quit. <laughs> <laughs> I know Kevin was at, at the football game last night yeah. because he posted about it. Yeah. And then, like I said, Jeff is, is gone. So there's two people that are regular. Yeah. And Ray's got to play. I, I mean, think about it. That You would have six here just automatically. So don't don't get all in a, in a snit over this shit. Well, I mean, he wants oh, he wants new people. You know, he, we're we're. Well, I would I would like some new people to call too. That would be see, nice. So that's why I only call in once every other week. So I'm kind of new. No, you don't. You don't call. Like you don't. You, you don't call, but once every other week because you're pussy whipped. Uh, nah. I'd like to see some of the people call that used to call, like Charlie and uh, and this guy Rick. Uh, you know, there, there, there was some really nice people that uh, used to call. Yeah, so we'd like to get the nice people here, so we don't have to talk to Phil. Yeah, and really. He, you know, I mean, doing his own thing. I mean, he um, he moved to I think it was Arizona. Who? Um, from Texas. Charlie. Uh, Charlie Wallace. Yeah. Yeah, he moved and um, and he had some back problems and things like that. In addition to the di you know, diabetes, yeah, diabetes. Yeah. So I mean, he he's around, but he um, he's in a new relationship. Well, it's not new anymore. It's about a year, but so uh, I'm sure he's got his own thing. That he's well, his whole life hey, probably. I, I beat cancer in two heart operations, and I still call. You know. <laughs> Somebody just said here, I will call. Give me the number to call. Go over to gabnet.net. Okay, nah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Th call 347 352 0079. See, if you had a jingle, 347 352 0079, motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe people would remember it. Yeah. Oh, God. That's, that's, that, that sounds that, like that. That's uh, severe. Uh, uh, you know, the commercial for the. Uh, uh, what is it? Sofa beds that uh, you know they used to do. Uh, three, three, four, seven, three, five, two, zero, zero, seven, nine. Yeah. Or, or do it to the jingle of, of that annoying cards for kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Why don't oh. you have Rob uh, make? Don't wouldn't you? Would, you know, I tell you, I'm not a violent person, but <laughs> if I had a machine gun, the first thing I would do is find those kids. Right. <laughs> Just go to the Jewish camp over there in New York because that's what the whole entire thing was going for, was hey, for Jewish me, kids to go to camp. Let me ask you this about the Cars for Kids. Is this a national thing? No, it's a national there's, thing. There's a Cars for Kids uh, in cars my area. Okay. Yeah, and the guy actually bought flooring from me, and I didn't realize that it was a national thing. I thought it was just the uh, local. Yeah, supposedly what happens is they take your car off your hands. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. Yeah, they take the car, your car off your hands, and then you can use the tax deduction right. uh, for it. 
But supposedly, and then they sell it to the junkyard. Yeah, that's what I heard. Bucks. They sell it as a junker to the junkyards and make money that way. And that's been the big uh, uh, bugaboo about that. Where are you going, yeah. uh, Jason? He's like going to make a drink. Sorry. Oh, he's going to make a drink. <laughs> and you're taking. He's taking his whole computer with him. Uh, he's walking us through the house. We've never seen any other part of the house but that room. And we're not seeing it now either because there's no light. Oh, now. yeah, yeah. Hey, what, you see my like garage. The... You see my fireplace. Hey, oh, Jason, there you are. There what's we that, go. What's that plywood on the windows and all of those uh, sneakers <laughs> hanging on the uh, uh, power the telephone lines? lines? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A security <laughs> system in Detroit. What, yeah, really. What is... Uh, that... Yeah. Uh, um, uh, so, uh, yeah, I remember you did call us once from your garage because uh, um, Rob was in his garage. And so we saw two cars and two guys. Uh, I miss I miss having a garage. Really? Oh yeah. yeah. It was uh, it it was very convenient. Now right now I have a storage space where I store my motorcycle and my scuba gear and all of that stuff. And it's I, I haven't touched the motorcycle in a year and a half. Yeah. So anyway, what do you think is going to happen in Texas with Ted Cruz? He'll win. I don't think he will. I have a funny uh, feeling that one's gonna. He's gonna go. You south. know, the what's Beto's? That he's gonna win. Huh? Yeah. What's Beto's real name? I think that's I his. Say, I think the Robert polls are showing Francis that he's gonna win. No. O'Rourke. Uh, well, then Beto might have been a nickname, so he uses it. It is a nick. It's a nickname, but yeah. I think he was pandering to the Latin uh, no, voter. No, no, he wasn't. Oh, with a uh, name like Jason a, shaking. Wait, but with a Beto? name with a name like O'Rourke. I agree. Yes, he it was. Yeah. He's pandering to the Hispanic vote. Hmm. I think he is. Yeah. They had a picture of him looking at a, a statue of, uh, what's her name? Who was that uh, dead uh, uh, singer? S uh, Selena? Or Selena? Frida? Huh? Oh, Selena or Frida? No, uh, uh, no Selena? Well, who was the one who died? Uh, Got yeah, shot. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she was. Was she killed? Yeah, she was killed, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, he, there's a statue of her, and there's a picture they took of him standing in in and not in front of it, but in back of it, looking at it with a sort of plaintive look. So I guess that was trying to appeal to the... Uh, Did you see that statue that they just erected in, in India? Uh, uh, that they, I think they spent 40, uh, several million dollars. It might have been in the 400 million. 400 million. Yeah. And uh, it's very tall. It's about the height of a building. And what, who is it of? Uh, I'm not sure. The guy wasn't wearing shoes, though. Uh, <laughs> Now, do you know who it is, uh, who it was, Jason, the statue? It, it was one of their founding. Uh, the, the guy that was around during the same time that, uh, uh, what's his name, the guy who went on the starvation Gandhi. thing. Gandhi. Gandhi. He was around during the same time Gandhi was, and I think he belonged to the same party, too, or something, but he's not as well known. But it's twice the size of the Statue of Liberty. Wow. wow. Is it bronze? I, I don't know. I just saw a little statue thing of it, and it, it's the largest uh, sculpture in the world now. There was some type of Buddhist thing in China that was bigger than the Statue of Liberty, and this is even bigger than that. I think there's a good shot that Beto O'Rourke will 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 beat Ted Cruz. It's going to be a tight race. The only will. way he's going to beat Ted Cruz is in the middle of the night. He hits him over the head with a stick. Yeah, well, that's the only way yeah, he's going to. Yeah, beat. but uh, absent that joke, uh, I think Beto O'Rourke's going to win because I think they're going to people be people coming out who don't normally come out to vote. I think vote the, the polls were showing that it was basically in a dead heat. Uh, I would love to see Ted Cruz gone because uh, uh, I find Ted Cruz absolutely off-putting as a human being. He's just so, – he reminds me of McCarthy. McCarthy. And, and, Maca and Maca if Trump gets his way with his uh, McCarthy. Uh, uh, natural born citizenship, Ted Cruz will be an illegal. <laughs> Patrick has his hand. Yes, Patrick. I think Cruz will win. It'll be very slim. But Beto O'Rourke – has a bright future in yeah. Texas. Yeah. And I think even if he loses this, this is not the end for him. This is merely him getting his feet wet in a big election. And right. I think if he were to go for a lesser office, whatever that, that might be in two years, and then he may challenge uh, Cruz again if Cruz runs, I think it's a better shot then. I, because I, 
I don't think he's as well known as people think. Uh, even though we hear about him nationally, yeah. it's just like in my state, there are people that haven't heard of certain people that are real big in my area. But you know, <laughs> your state's kind of a toss-up, isn't it, for governor? It, it's a dead heat. Yeah. But, but the thing is, with that, is I think Walker is going to win again. This is his last, his last term anyway. I think he'll win. He'll squeak it out. And then the Democrats are going to come up with somebody better next time. I mean, this is kind of a, this is who we have left on a flatter guy for the Democrats, which is, I mean, I'm happy about it because I don't like the guy, but it, yeah. it's like they didn't put any effort into finding a good candidate that would appeal across uh, my parents my mother who lost her job because of Scott Walker mm-hmm. voted for Scott Walker because the guy that's running against him is so off-putting even to her that yeah. she voted for the guy who put her out of work so uh, I'm, I'm looking at the polls on the uh, Cruz o- O'Rourke campaign uh, uh, Emerson, uh, RCP average has a Cruz plus I never, six and a half. I yeah. never, I uh, never, I never heard of them. Okay, Quinna, Quinnipiac, which Quinnipiac, Quinnipiac. Yeah. Okay, has a Cruz plus five. Uh, the Texas Tribune has it Cruz plus six. CNN has it Cruz plus seven, and the New York Times has it Cruz plus eight. So, and that's that's what I've been hearing is Cruz plus six. But the only thing though is how are they doing these polls? Are they still by you know landline telephones? You I know, don't and know. if that's the case, then they're not really that honest. But that's what I've been hearing. It isn't a question of it Cruise isn't a question of honest, by the way. Oh, it, not it, honest, it, but how it, true it, uh, is it? It, it, because, accurate. It, whether their polling isn't an ancient polling as opposed to a more modern polling, yeah. and what you're quite right. One of the problems is is that they, for a while, were calling, you know, landlines. Send out a text message and ask. You know, send out a text message or call cell phones. You Because, like, I got to tell you, the only reason I have a landline is because I've got a cable company that just gave it to me, as, as you know, which I never use it. But yeah, if, I did, even a if I didn't, if I didn't, yeah, it's a VoIP. Line. It's a VoIP. Yeah, uh, I, I, if I didn't uh, have that, I, I, I wouldn't care. My cell phone is the phone that I get all the calls on. You know, most people, that's the way they get their calls now. Except for old people. Old people still got that old, you know, <laughs> dial phone, you know, going for them. Yes, Patrick, and then hi, Ray. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Uh, what were you saying, uh, Patrick? With with calling. I think the inaccuracy comes from, and this is what I think happened with Trump, because I had heard this from a few different sources. Um, if if you are talking to an individual, and this is what happened in 2016, um, nobody wanted to admit that they were going to vote for Trump, and so they would give a false. I did. <laughs> yeah, but. That, in, in all seriousness, but the accurate polling was where it was no person and it was just a recording and and you type in a number, you know, are you voting for so-and-so, then people are more likely to be honest because nobody wanted to get hit with that stink or admit that they were going to vote for Trump. And yeah. I think that's the case with most polling. Um, that if, if you can do it without talking to a person, and me personally, I don't even answer polls. I if I get the text messages, and I've told, I'll send one back, and I say something like, you know, so last night when you went down on me in the elevator, this is all I'm good for? And I'll, I'll do it completely different than what they're asking, just to get off their list. Don't bother me. I don't want to be polled. I don't, you well, don't need the, to know. But Patrick, you know, on the other hand, they're trying to gather data. And if you, ha- if I have the time, I'll answer the poll. Yeah, but that's you, you know? Phil. That's you. You know. Yeah, me too. I, I don't give a shit. You know, yeah, and then but, also, also the, you know, uh, there are people like Rasmussen who are totally unreliable. 
And the reason they're unreliable is because they're biased. And how they're biased is the way in which they ask the question. You know, there's several ways you can ask the question. Some of them are biased and some of them are not biased. And you have to know how the, what question are they exactly asking these people and how are they asking them. And you're right, are they going for cell phones as well? You know, because if they're going for cell phones, I think that's the majority of phone. <laughs> it's cute dog. Wow. Uh, he ate the food in front of the dog. The dog is saying, where's mine? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he says it was right there. The dog always wants, wants a percent. Did I tell you about, uh, did I tell you about Jack's cat? It. Did I tell you about Jack's cat? No. Most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm over visiting my friend Jack uh, Garfield. Oh, that Jack. Yeah, yeah oh, Jack Garfield. Shut the door for himself. Yes. Yeah. She she goes in and she opens the door to the bathroom and I said oh that's very bright and she walks in now I'm talking to Jack again and the next time I look over the door is closed. Hey Alex and I hear and I wait a minute and I hear the cat scratching in her box and she's taking a dump and then when she's through taking a dump she opens the door and I believe she closed it behind her. Now, I, I, I got actually swings shut. No, 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 that wasn't it. I, I mentioned it to Jack and he says, oh, she does that all the time. She obviously watched oh, Natalia uh, go to the bathroom and saw that Natalia opened the door and then she closed the door behind her when she was in there. And so the cat starts doing that. That's how I had one of my cats start uh, peeing in the toilet. And she watched my wife every night. She sat there, sat there staring at her, like, you know, trying to figure the whole thing out and the trajectory and all that, you know. And all of a sudden, one night, I'm, a, I'm lying in bed, and I hear somebody pissing in the toilet, and I look over to see if my wife's there, and she's there. And I'm going, who the hell's pissing in the toilet? And I go I, into... I saw that cat, mouse, pit, piss in the toilet. Yeah, you saw yeah, it. it. So I'm, it's oh, yeah. true, right? It was amazing. It was I'd only... never seen, and that mouse was blind. Yeah, at that point. But before yeah. that, she that's the only place she'd ever go. Now, some people would say, well, does she shit in the toilet? And I go, come on, you can't have everything, okay? I went, I went swimming in your pool once, and I took a shower at your apartment, and the... Uh, there was shit in the in the shower. Oh well, this this uh, was another story. That was uh, that was Shabbos, my cat Shabbos, who died in California. Shabbos. Uh, but see, I can even say that how you know I knew you, Alex, too, and I knew your cat would shit in the shower, and it would actually sit there and claw no, not in the shower, shower. Like not in the shower. Buried. No, 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 no. It wasn't in no. the shower, Phil. It was in the bathtub. Bathtub. Well, bathtub. shower. And I bathtub. had this you cat, had Shabbos. He only had one bathroom. And, 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 and uh, we got him from this woman who wanted to get rid of Shabbos. So we took the cat. It had a different name at the time. I think, I don't know, Bowser or something. I don't know what his name was. We named him Shabbos. Adolf. Because we got him on a Saturday. And um, he uh, would shit in the bathtub. And we go, bad cat, do not shit in the bathtub, right? And he would keep shitting in the bathtub. So finally... Uh, we met up with this woman again, and she says, so is there anything unusual about uh, about the cat? And I said, we said, well, uh, nothing unusual. He's wonderful. That's what's unusual about him. He's a lovely cat. And she says, does he shit in the bathtub? <laughs> and I went, oh, that. Well, we just clean it up, you know. The only thing about Shabbos was that he lived to be 18 years old, and every time he would shit in the bathtub, he would try and dig up the porcelain. You know, he would do that whole thing about trying to dig it. Under. I never, I, I never but saw that. But to his credit, he peed uh, over the drain in the bathtub. All right? You know, Shabbos. And we would know when he was going, too, because you could hear it all over the house. Could you hear clunk, clunk, clunk into the, into the uh, bathtub? When you had two cats, I never saw Shabbos walking around the house. I always saw a mouse. But I never saw Shabbos. Was that, was that cat a hider? No. Well, one of the he died. I think um, he died maybe before I knew you. He died. He died uh, when we first came out to California. He had, well, you knew me because uh, he used to shit in the bathtub. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I, well, then he did, then he was alive. Yeah. Uh, no, Shabbos was around. Shabbos was Shabbos was very cool. He was just a cool cat. I could I could take him, put him in my arms, and walk him across 14th Street in New York City, and he just he wouldn't even like grab onto me you know you just kind of look around like hey so this is what it's like out here huh cool he was just a very he on some levels he was a very zen cat 
On other levels, he was completely unstrung. And where he was unstrung is you could take an emery board and scratch it or take a rubber band, put it between your fingers and go twang, 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 and he would start gagging. Really? Yeah. You would start gagging and throwing him. <laughs> I, I have a customer that actually has a cat that he walks on a, on a, uh, has a, um, a collar and a, a leash. Mm-hmm. And, and they walk them. They take them everywhere. Yeah. Well, uh, um, um, is it, it a savanna? Uh, well, it, yeah, usually it's sure. a, savannas. They walk. Um, uh, 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 Ronnie had a savanna. And uh, savannas, a lot of people have savannas because they're big cats. Walk them on a leash. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. usually have a Havana, but not a savanna. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll, look, I'll look them up. I'll see what kind of cat it is. Yeah. Savannas are beautiful, by the way. Great. Great, beautiful cats. But anyway, so what's new, Kevin? Anything new with your life? Yeah, a lot of stuff was going on. Like what? Uh, I lost a good friend the other day, about three or four, uh, five days ago. Actually, about a week ago. Is that the one you did the ALS walk for? No, no. It was my other friend from childhood. We used to trade paper routes, and he passed away. Turn up your mic uh, a little bit. Turn up your mic a little bit. Oh, uh, it's probably just because I'm too far away. Yeah, you're too uh, far away. Oh, yeah, 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 there yeah. we go. That's better. Uh, uh, what uh, no, is, other than that, just been uh, what? What did? What did? Of, what did? Uh, he, what, election what, stuff. And, how old was he? He was my age, sixty-one years old. Really? And what Three he, months older than I am. And what did he die of? Uh, he he. Well, he's pretty messed up. He he uh, he had he'd gone in for he he, he had Kaiser. He had Kaiser. I oh, called it. Well, as we as doctor we like to know, suicide. doctor assisted yeah, suicide. Kaiser assisted. <laughs> he uh, he had uh pacemaker he had been rebuilt on the guts about i don't know seven or eight times he went in for gallstones at one point about 25 years ago you know to get him blasted out and they apparently blasted a few other things and he ended up in the hospital for like six or eight months and got ever since then he was in and out all the time ended up with pacemakers he died on the table like seven or eight times he told me but uh it was one of those deals where we had, you know, we were friends when we were kids. We lived down the street from each other, and, and it's we just, lost touch of each other. It's, and just, then, it's especially hard when it's somebody you grew up with as a kid. Yeah. You know? And then, uh, you know, we, we lost touch with each other, but still always kept in touch. And then the last, you know, 15, 20 years, what kind of cat is that? That's a savanna. I don't know. That's a savanna. Oh, okay. That's Looks the like cat. Big enough for one, that, yeah. That's his wife, but that's the cat. They're huge cats. They're yeah. huge. But uh, over the last awesome. 15, 20 years, I got, you know, we kind of hooked up again. and Yeah. So it was pretty yeah. bad because I talked to him the two days before he passed. Yeah, I'm having a lot of people in my life die, you know. Yeah. I found out a program director that I once had here in New York City died about a week ago. Uh, I, I didn't like the guy, but that doesn't matter. You know, it's somebody you know and it's somebody you worked with and, uh, you know, you don't wish that kind of thing on anybody. But uh, what? Uh, quit showing the pictures. Uh, but see, well, there's a savanna with a leash cat on a leash. On a leash. We're talking yeah. about dead people. We're talking about dead that's people now. Phil, we've changed You're the subject. Bring, you just keep bringing up pussy. Yeah. Yeah. Hello there, uh, Ray. We really got to talk to Ray. Hey. What's happening with Can you? Can you hear me okay? I dropped my mic. Oh, your mic really, yeah, sounds fine. Sounds fun. Like I this. love this road mic. Yeah. 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 This is a road also. Yeah, I can be like Al. I, this one, you know, what is it? What is it called when you can be far away? Yeah, you don't see, have to be right see up. See this? On this, this is road. Dynamic. This is road rash. Yeah, I like it. Right here, road rash. I have road rash. I have yeah, that's road. what I need is ah. a dynamic mic. This one's kind of. You got to be right on it. It's yeah, my other one's like that. Call it. The other yeah. one is called cardioid. A cardioid. Yeah. 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 cardioid. That's what, that's what this a cardioid. Is. Yeah. It's a heart shaped this pattern. One, it's this a one can be either. Pattern. Well, no, you can you can you can turn it and make it more directional. Like I I make this one yeah. directional as opposed to cardioid because cardioid would go out like this. So let's say I had the air conditioner on, you'd hear it more. But a directional, I I have to talk directly into it because if I get off to the side, I, you lose me. You know. So yeah. anyway, if I talk over here, you can't hear it. But if I talk over here, you so, can. So uh, I I'd ask you what's happening in your neighborhood with the elections, but it's the same thing that's happening in Phil's neck of the woods and in Kevin's neck of the woods. Oh, here in California. Yeah. 
What's yeah, what's the bit more most hotly contested race in California right now? John Cox and uh, uh, Gavin Newsom, I would think. Oh, really, yeah. I hear Newsom's kind of a shoe in. Uh, probably, uh, probably, but you, know, but you never know. Because yeah. a lot of down Orange County and down, there's a lot of Republican voters down there. Yeah, but if he Orange went, County uh, is in contention that yes. there may be a. Uh, uh, someone, a Democrat, uh, uh, beating the Republican in Orange County. Oh, uh, let me I guess I'm wrong. And then you so. got that, but, but um, um, the, um, the thing with Gavin Newsom, I heard that he was out front. Is that what you hear? Oh, he yeah, is. Yeah, I think he's going to win. Because I think if Gavin Newsom wins for governor and becomes governor of California, I think you can look for him running for president in a couple of years. Absolutely. He, you know? he almost ran for president last time, but. Uh, they did. They did. They ran the numbers, and they knew he couldn't win, so he didn't do it. But you know who? You know who is going to make a? Is I'm sure will make a run for the, for the president. But first, he's got to win for governor in Florida. Is this guy Gillum? And he's a good looking guy. I mean, this guy's got charisma. He's got everything going for him. Uh, uh, yeah, they're saying that these uh, this Orange County congressional race, uh, they must uh, Democrats must win to flip the house. Uh, and it uh, says that the Democrats look strong in these in this race. I'm looking for their names. Yeah, and then uh, there's that woman that uh, um, what's her name in uh, in Georgia who's running for governor that Oprah Adams, came out for Stacy Adams or something. Stacy, not Adams. Something here. Else. Let's Amy see if Adams. I can find I which one Adams. it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's all election shit. Oh really? Yeah, I just he keep putting it into a big pile. Wow. Between the locals and all the state crap. Yeah. You know what's interesting is Phil lives Phil lives in, uh, near me, but he lives in a really red area. No. And I Walnut live in Creek? a really... Surprise! No, it's in oh, Orinda. It's not No, no. no. Well, I'm in Walnut Creek, but uh, uh, we have uh, Barbara Lee and, uh, you know, all of those kinds of people representing us. But isn't uh, that because of Oakland? Yeah, yeah probably, but, uh, or in Berkeley, but we yeah. there's there's nobody is red in this area oh, <laughs> down okay. here. Yeah. I guess, I guess we are so. down here things, yeah. have things have changed it's it's funny it's funny that red is also the term they use for communists but i i don't understand that one. <laughs> oh yeah hollister's uh, red it, definitely yeah. yeah we got a bunch of farmer okies down and, there. and 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 my uh, my aunt and uncle were red but not they weren't republicans uh yes uh, patrick kevin how much of a shift do you get a day Oh, at least five or six of them a day. I okay. throw them out. Because that's been what I've been getting the last maybe two or three weeks. It hasn't been a long stretch, but it, it the last two or three weeks, my shredder had been getting a hell of a workout every day for me. Well, uh, I, I'm waiting for the motor to fucking burn out. I'll tell you what, and, and I've learned this because I'm working for a campaign down here for one of the measures. And I've I've learned the strategies that these guys use, and what they're doing is the last week they start pounding you, and they don't care because they believe that mailing is the biggest thing, to, to the most effective way to get to people, even if it's just thirty seconds and into the shredder. It's the most effective way to get somebody into somebody's head. Because all you have to do is see the name. Yep. Yep. And they do the name real big, and you look at it, and you shove it in the shredder. And that's all they yeah, care about. Yeah, here's one. This yeah. guy's school board. Yep. Uh, this is the uh, Marshall Tuck. I, I, best, I bet his Marshall Tr Tuck was growing up. He didn't have fun in high school with that name. No. Oh, uh, yeah. He had a fight. He had a fight. You know, the one who I don't think, I think must have had a horrible time in uh, in, in school. Yeah. Is a reporter over at MSNBC called Casey Hunt. Yeah, and and I wonder I wonder how many Remember people I sent you that one where they screwed up. Well, no, but I I, I wonder how many people have just referred to her. Hey, Hazy cunt. <laughs> hey, when I was when I was a kid growing up, the, I used to get off the bus and I'd walk down from the bus to my house, and there was a mailbox, and the guy's name was Fugger, F U G G E R. Now that's a guy that had a fight. Oh I yeah, no. To go to school with a guy named Mike Cunt. Mike <laughs> Mike Hunt. Hunt. Mike. Mike, well, you Mike. know, that was a name, I got to tell you. Too. For years, yeah. that was a very famous name, and I'll tell you where. Yeah. In the porn industry, because a lot of guys, you know how, how when 
in the regular movies, what was the name they used to use in regular movies when they didn't want their name to be known because they didn't want to take responsibility for it? Uh, uh, Benjamin Dover. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Uh, it was Dick uh, something? N- no, I'm trying to remember now. I, uh, uh, Dick Smalley. No, no. But, Dick Scrapper. Uh, anyway. This is the name that guys used because they didn't oh, want no, anybody. I know it was Alex Bennett. Uh, no, you know what it was? It was uh, a B set me off. It's a, it starts with a B. Uh, uh, I'll think about it. Bennett uh, Schwarzman. Uh, I'll, I'll get it in a second. But anyway, anyway, the, it, porn films, you know, we see the credit Mike Hunt. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I used to get pissed. He said, call me Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Patrick. Um, uh, when I was in grade school, we were learning the various. Um, Alan Smithy. Like, Hold on a second. I just remember the name, Alan Smithy. Alan if you ever Smithy, see that yeah. in a credit in movies, it's because of, because for years the uh, 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 SAG would say or the or the DGA would say you could only use that name if you didn't want to give your real name as the director. But they did away with that a few years back. But uh, uh, David Lynch used the name Alan Smithy on uh, what was that uh, sci-fi movie he made? Uh, uh, oh God, I'm trying to think. It was very famous. Blue. Um, uh, you know what? No, you know I'm talking. Uh, the science. Yes. Uh, the sci-fi film where they had the worms and stuff and all of that. Uh, Dune. Uh, Dune. No. Dune. On Dune. On the yeah. television version of Dune, he put in the name Alan Smithy. Yeah. That was an awesome movie. Yeah. Love it. Anyway, so the, hey, go ahead. Orange, anyway, anyway, ba- no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Patrick was talking, so let me uh, let him finish. I interrupted him rudely. When, when we were in grade school, we were learning the um, the title, Mr., Mrs., and and then we we learned about um, the term master for for young men. You know, when you address them, yes, uh, well, slave owners. The, the, well, no, the, 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 the problem is one of the kids in my class, his last name was, was Bates. Bates. Basting. Oh, Basting. So, yeah. So <laughs> All through grade school and high school, we always been. Master Basting. As Master? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Master no. basting, though there is no such word as master basting. Although that would be something you would do if you were very good at making a chicken and right, yeah, basting it. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, to a cleaner topic, uh, California's 48th district, which is Orange County, it's Dana Rohrbacher yeah, versus right. Harley Ruda. And Rohrbacher, uh, wasn't he um, accused of some sort of impropriety? I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but he's the Republican. If he was a Republican, his... he probably was, yes. Yeah. No, no, but there was, there was something that went on. I, yeah. I, I'll figure it out. Well, I'm going to remind you of what uh, Chuck Lorre wrote as a vanity card this week, and I, I put it up on my on my Facebook page, and I took it down after a while. And it, it's very simple, and it, it's, a lovely, it's a lovely statement. Um, love is forever. Uh, love like there's no tomorrow and vote like there is that was what it was I Uh, shared that and I think at least three or four of my friends have shared it also yeah it's a a very good it's going viral yeah it's a great statement just a great statement and that's really what it's all about I mean I don't care if you're to the left or to the right Uh, this is a very important election uh, for each and every American Uh, and and uh, I hope you vote wisely, and you don't listen to fear mongering, and you don't listen to uh, uh, you don't listen to fear mongering. You know what I think it should happen? Everybody in America should make it their business to never vote for anybody who runs negative ads. And Marjorie was saying me tonight to me tonight that in some country like France or whatever, it is actually against the law to run negative ads. All you can run are ads where you promote yourself and talk about what you're going to do and what your merits are. Yes, Jason. Jason. So in Michigan, they're running these ads of, uh, uh, I know that there are some protests and stuff where there are some individuals who are smashing windows and rioting. 
And then they're sitting there and putting another person who's running for office and saying they are one of them. Is that not wrong? Of course it's wrong. And and, and okay. I, I, I wouldn't vote for anybody that runs a negative ad. Of course, then that I probably wouldn't be able to me, vote you know, for anyone. Sit there and say that you know these people are rioting and smashing property and you know doing this and have this person seen, is one of them. Have you seen this Willie Horton esque ad that Republicans are running about this Hispanic guy in a courtroom going, "I'm glad I murdered the people" and blah blah blah, and they say the Democrats yes, let this yes. man into the country. I saw that. Uh, it, and it, if it, you were to actually find out more about it, because it's what's his name, oh. Uh, Pryo or whatever his name is from Arizona, he actually let this guy go. Oh, really? What was he a Democrat or Republican? No, Republican. Oh. This big fucking uh, racist guy in Arizona. Who the hell is it? Yeah, uh, but I mean, this oh, ad, Pryo this this ad is now is. being assailed for being absolutely racist. Absolutely racist. Uh, have you seen it, Phil? No. Huh. Okay, what are you looking at? They, they, they wouldn't. Uh, oh, I was just reading about Rohrbacher. Yeah. Uh, I can't find anything negative on the guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, other than they say that he he had ties to Putin. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's bad enough. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, Ray, what's your take on what's going to happen on Tuesday? Uh, you know, I just I think like they say the the Democrats will squeak by in the House and the Senate. We'll stay with the Republicans. I mean, yeah. Well, at least that's a healthier government, you know. Yeah. It's a yeah. little more balance of power. A little bit more balance of power. Well, would I, be nice. I would like to see more people go over to one side or the other on certain issues and be a little more malleable in their voting, rather than voting some kind of company, you know, party line. You I mean think, like oh, the yeah. Democrats do? No, the Democrats. Oh, the Democrats. Come on. Are, how, how many votes did they have uh, to, that uh, crossed over to any Republican issue other than Manchin, who wanted well, to get reelected? I think there are a lot of there are a lot of things where, where the Democrats have gone over. There are a lot of things where the Republicans have gone over, but they I, haven't I been they haven't so. been issues that were crucial. Okay, uh, you mean like uh, you like paying more taxes? Uh, uh, if I if I know? if I get more roads and I get better schools, but and, you don't get more roads and, I and better get, schools. I mean, no, but you what, get what your money. you're trying to do, what you're trying, you Republicans are trying to do, is you're trying to give us tax tax, tax going to the military industrial complex. Well, also, so, also, so you don't like spending more. What's on the taxes? first thing when they you, when you did the tax rebate, which by the way is a complete lie because a lot of people haven't seen it in their paycheck. Um, uh, the fact of the matter was that. Uh, uh, it, it it that you had uh, the Republicans saying, well, you know, we're going to have to do something because we're spending a lot of money on this tax rebate. I think we're going to have to do away with like Medicare. Uh, you know, and that's the it, that's the fear mongering. No, that isn't fear mongering because you, because what's his name? The head in, the head of the House said it. Said it. He's, he's said history it. History as he's, of January. But he said it, Phil, and he's he a Republican. I don't know that he said it, but maybe he said you know. it. But, you know, there's no way that they're going to be, uh, get rid of Medicare. There's believe no way me, they're going to get rid me. of Social Security. The Democrats, and there's no way the they're going to get rid of Democrats. The Democrats don't fear so monger, why are quite like the Republicans. why trying to say they are going to? Hey, you know, there's a lot of things that your people say, like, hey, let's let them over the borders. Let's let's raise taxes. There's, there's all sorts of shit. I, I can't understand yeah, why well, anybody... Yeah, uh, well, don't worry. You Democrat vote for a Democrat, board. folks, and cats are going to fuck with dogs. Well, I guess I'm forced to do a show on Tuesday night, and that will be election night, and we'll see you then. And I hope um, you and others will join, and we will have a... Uh, uh, either a depressing party for all the Democrats here or a depressing party for the uh, Republicans on the panel. I will not be here. I'll be working the polls. Well, well, it, well good for you. At least, Alex, you'll have a topic. <laughs> you know. Fuck you, Phil. Anyway, <laughs> the rest of you, uh, thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. Patrick, thank you. Ray, thank you. I hear you're in the middle of a play right now. Yeah, we opened last week. Yeah, okay. My uh, job's done. Oh, your job's done. Okay. Uh, yeah. Phil, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Kevin, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate your participation tonight. And uh, what I would like you all to do 
uh, for all those fine people out there in the, the television land is uh, say a fond farewell by waving goodbye. There they go, ladies and gentlemen, the citizen panel. Oh, thank you, Jason. That's nice, too. Anyway, that's them, and this is us. And I guess I'm forced to come back next week and uh, do more shows because I said that if I didn't hear from more people on the show tonight, I was just going to quit doing this. Every time I threaten that, people force me into keeping me doing this for I don't know what goddamn reason. But anyway, up next, you've got a wonderful program called The Intersection. Uh, it's done by uh, Jack uh, Bishop. And then at 1 o'clock this morning, Eastern Daylight Time, it's Connections. We'll see you again on election night on Tuesday, right after Damian Chaplin in the exchange at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Well, she was here earlier anyway, so.